Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Arising uh, for the remainder of September 2020. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, those of you that are wanting to book a personal or private reading, uh, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, all right, so we have here Central Issue, Heart of the Matter as the King of Swords. We have the Four of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and we have the Moon, Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. All right, so you guys definitely have a lot of air around you. So you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, maybe also uh, Pisces, but there's some sort of difficult decisions I feel like you're trying to make. For some of you, somebody is hot and cold or there's something, there's an imbalance in the connection that you're having with someone. If you're completely single, I feel like there's someone that is observing you and watching you, but they're too nervous to come forward um, or you as the pursuer are too nervous to approach whoever it is that you're interested in. Um, I feel that someone's been receiving a lot of messages in their dreams. Um, I feel too like subconsciously there's someone that you're thinking about or maybe you're just thinking about um, talking to someone, talking, putting yourself out there in general. But it looks like there's a lot of information that is revealed to you when you're asleep. You also might feel that you are just spiritually connected to someone. You think of them, they're thinking of you. Um, some of you too, I feel, are still holding on to some sort of messages, still holding on to some sort of messages that um, were exchanged. So maybe you're still thinking about someone uh, from the past. I feel too like, the things that are happening to you are more so about preparation, preparing for what's to come. Um, if you are already in a relationship, it looks like sometimes you're needing to set boundaries or sometimes you just want your space or your partner just wants their space. Either way, I feel like there needs to be more communication. Um, there could be some sort of misunderstandings. I feel like someone needs to be more straightforward, more direct, because right now I feel like someone's thoughts are like all in their head. Like they just keep thinking about what they're going to do, what they're going to say. It's like, OK, this is what, what I'm going to do. Someone is like writing a story in their mind and it's just like, OK, when are you going to actually follow through with this story? Um, some of you, I feel like you are going to be very uh, sensitive over these next few days, something's happening where you're having to um, deal with emotions. There are still trust issues. There are still abandonment issues. You might have mommy or daddy issues or your um, partner does or the person coming towards you does. I feel that something's going to be triggered regardless. Um, something is going to force you to take a look in the mirror. Mm. I feel too like someone it can be cold or distant. Someone's the what the things that they say might stir up old memories. Hmm. And I'm also getting something in regards to being opposite or there are some sort of big differences between you and this person especially in age. So I'm seeing something like a, a large age gap, like maybe by 10 years. I do feel like maybe by the end of the month, um, you're going to be floating on cloud nine. So something happens where you're really happy or you're feeling very confident. 
Um, it could be because you get confirmation of who your love interest is, or maybe your love interest, um, you know, finally comes forward, or you as the pursuer finally are, you put yourself out there and it pays off, It you know, some sort of risk pays off. So I feel like you're going to be happy or have a sense of um, inner peace uh, by the month is out. I really feel that someone is afraid of being ridiculed or being made to look like a fool. Um, it, it looks like people are all possibly in your love life some type of way. I feel like somebody's going to put themselves out there and they're like, this makes me think of Say Anything, that the 80s movie where the guy is holding a boom box up and <laughs> serenading a girl. Um, and then it's followed by the Nine of Cups. So I definitely feel like this is, a, if it's not a literal serenade, someone is just like expressing themselves, how they feel about you. So someone might send you a song or you might decide that you're going to send someone a song or a poem. Hmm. Somebody feels like reaching for the stars. I feel too like in order to have love, those of you that are struggling um, with that, that you're needing to be open to receive. And a lot of you might be too afraid to allow yourself to, to be just raw and vulnerable. Um, you still also could be tender. There still may be some unhealed wounds that have not been healed. I'm also getting a situation where if you are in some sort of on off again situation um, that you guys never get a chance to heal. Like it's, it's that same effect where it's like a band aid that just keeps getting ripped off before it has a chance to, to, to form a new layer of skin and hit us like, no, it just keeps getting ripped off and ripped off. Now I feel too like the reason why some of you are making the same mistakes over and over or getting the same type of energy sent to you is because you're learning. There's something that you haven't learned or it's just for the sake of learning. Sometimes too, like you really have to, and this is, you know, getting into metaphysical stuff, but you really got to understand that sometimes you come here for a specific lesson, but you forget that. Um, and then it's like, you, you're like, I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't want to be on this earth anymore. Um, but this is what you signed up to do just like if you're going to college for and you're you need some sort of um prerequisite to be a doctor like you've got to take it. it you can take it doesn't matter which prerequisite requisite it is but you've got to take one of them you know and, and it's like you're not going to be able to evolve until you kind of you know get through this class and at least pass with a d you know so something's going on where I feel that it's it's more so life is an experience experience, um, and this is like the the school. And I know you guys have read that before, you know. And that, you know, I only repeat things that I feel deeply resonates. Um, so I feel that you know that's what it is for some of you. Like this is your school, you know. Go to class, you know. Take these lessons and learn them, and so that you can evolve. You don't have to come back to this earth realm anymore or whatever. Um, but yeah, I feel like for the most part, though, there's, um, someone is very nervous or feeling emotional, um, in regards to their love interest. Now, if this isn't you, it could be, it could be your love interest that's going through something. Uh, let's see something here. I feel like someone's also trying to attract someone through telepathy like someone someone's like call me look at me you know that um Bram Stoker's Dracula I don't know how many Dracula fans out here there are but the movie Bram Stoker's Dracula with Gary Oldman and they even have a meme with it now but there's this scene where he's like see me now and then she just like she's walking down the street and all of a sudden she looks up and they catch eyes like I almost feel like somebody is like doing that like they're intentionally using their um, mental powers, their telepathy to attract someone towards them. It could be someone specific or maybe it's just a love interest in general. I'm also getting a name Diana for someone. 
Some of you can feel yourselves being watched by a soulmate. You can feel their energy watching you or coming towards you. Maybe you've been having dreams or premonitions. There is telepathy between you and another person. You have detected. I feel like if you start feeling super sensitive or over emotional, somebody is near or that person's thinking about you. Somebody's like in your presence. Um, so whoever your love interest in, uh, your love interest is, I feel like you guys are really tapped in. Um, somebody also may have rejected you, especially if you did, um, well, from the pursuer's perspective. If you pursued this person, you put it out there, um, or maybe you're just a girl, you flirted with somebody trying to let them know, like, hey, I'm interested. I feel like somebody, like, shut you, shut you down or rejected you. Um, and somebody lost confidence because of that. That also could have uh, bought up a lot of uh, feelings of rejection and abandonment. Um, but I feel like that needs to happen. I feel like something that happens so that you can heal, so that you can confront these feelings and just keep fighting uh, through it. Um, so I feel like that was part of the purpose of this person coming into your life or are you attracting this person? Hmm. Let me look at this uh, Two of Pentacles too. Someone also might be worried about their finances um, being why they have not come forward. Or someone just feels like they don't have stability. Uh, someone does. It might be a little mentally imbalanced, like bipolar or uh, manic depressant. Well, I think that's the same thing. Uh, it's just a different name. Um, there's some sort of mental challenges I see and emotional. Someone does have mood swings too. Someone is in between jobs. Um, maybe that's the story of somebody's life. They're always in between jobs. Someone is also concerned about their, their image. Oh my God, I feel like you guys are really there's something going on with you in an air sign. You guys are pushing each other away or being distant with each other. Somebody does like to be cruel. Mm. I mean, it's also possible that there's a juggling between two different people um, or someone is, what do you call it, manipulative, like someone's mother or... Yeah, like someone's mother it does have a say in who is allowed to be part of the family. And so it's just like, but I want to follow my heart. And the mother's like, no, you're going to follow the family. And we don't do that. That's not who we bring into our family. So no, for you. And I feel like maybe for some of you, you're juggling with, do I follow my heart or um, my mom? <laughs> so yeah, for some of you, I feel like that that could be an issue. So yeah, those are the messages that I have for Taurus. Hopefully they resonate. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.